smash like what 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 should we go for mum like 500 likes 550 550 likes that'd be absolutely sick thank you guys for the support and one for this guy How's it going everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. Now today I'm joined by a special guest. I'm joined with my mum. Do you want to say hello? Hello. How's it going guys? So the reason I'm wearing a hood is because I'm literally just about to go out and it's raining outside. So just wanted to quickly let you guys know the reason my mum isn't like really enthusiastic in that in this video is because it's the first video she's ever recorded, especially with me as well. It's sort of, sort of like an odd experience for it. It's like a little bit awkward, but hopefully you guys don't take so much hatred towards that because she will be in more videos you guys can smash a like on this video if you want to see more videos with her in and i apologize for sort of how like you know how not used to the camera she is she'll get better as we go on i promise you thank you for your continued support enjoy the video she's she's new to this sort of thing so i thought i'd bring one to do a video because i got you guys sending confessions now don't worry about it if yours didn't get read out in this video i'm gonna do a part two of this video in about a week's time something like that so send them into the twitter account I'll leave a link in the description. Yes, I saw Joe Sug did a video like this, so I decided to do it. I'll probably leave his video in the description as well. It's a really funny video. I definitely recommend checking it out. So, what we're going to do is we're going to read out your confessions. They are completely anonymous. I won't say anyone's name, but hopefully they'll be quite funny because we've all done silly things as we were kids and stuff like that. So I thought, you know what, I'd see what you guys have done and thought it'd be funny reading them. So, we're going to go straight into it. <clears throat> Hi, it's Haber. So I'm 14 years old and I slept with my dad's girlfriend. What do I do? OMG. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a good thing to do. Cheers, Jeff. Um, well, I mean, is she hot? Like, is she like, does she look like she's about 40 or does she look like she's about 20 and your dad's done well kind of thing? I, I, mm, don't tell your dad, because he might throttle no. you. Uh, what, what would you do if you were this man, in, this boy, this 14 year old boy? I think it's more of the, the dad's girlfriend's fault, really. I think so as well. She, she, she'd get arrested for that. Mm, she would. <laughs> That's like pedophilia, isn't it? Oh god. That's a way to start it. Hi Ryan, I once threw my sister's DS out of the window because she finished Mario before me. I was only seven though. That's not very nice. Hmm. It isn't very nice. It's, it's kind of thing. Just save up and buy, buy them something else. Well, I mean, you said he was only seven, so that, like, I don't know how old he is, but I can imagine it would be a few years ago. Well, you've done far worse than that. I know I have. <laughs> Um, this guy said, I had sex with a girl twice, at least twice my age. See, originally I was like, well, that's not bad, but when you think about it, like, twice your age, I, I highly doubt you're having sex before you're like 14, 15, 16. So, like, that's like a 28 year old woman. What, wait, why? What, what's happened here? Hang on. Wait, what, why are these all about having sex with, like, people old enough to be your mum? God, I didn't think this would go that way. Um, I once stepped in dog poo three times in ten minutes. Do you not look where you walk? <laughs> I hope you cleaned it. That's, that's should be dog poo on the floor anyway. It should be, should be responsible dog owners like me. Oh no, oh no, okay. Alright. I once went for a shit at school when I was about ten, missed the whole toilet and kicked the shit into the wall, into the stall where someone in the year below me was there and they screamed so effing loud, I sprinted and no one found out it was me. Oh god, that sounds like an experience really. Um, I can't say I've done anything, anything anywhere close to that. Hang on. So he went for a poo and he said he's missed the entire toilet and kicked poo into the person next, in the, in the cubicle next to him. You're never going to be on a video again after this, are you? No. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I may have spent over £500 on FIFA already. That's £500 on, on the Xbox game FIFA. I don't understand how that works. Do you want to know how much I've spent? Uh, this is going to be a confession from me. Do you want to know how much I've spent on FIFA since September? How much? About £1,300. Next. <laughs> there we go. I'm in love with a guy who's 19. He's in a band. I talk to him every day. I'm 16. What the F do I do? Do I tell him or not? This is this, this is something for you, Mum. This is a 16-year-old in love with a 19-year-old. The friends. Does she tell him or not? Uh, it depends how much you value your friendship, really. Um, has he shown any signs that he likes you in that kind of way? If not, then I'd just leave it as friends. Maybe wait till you're a bit older. 
actually wasn't expecting that. I was expecting I wasn't expecting an Ellen DeGeneres response here. You should have your own talk show. I once walked into a drum kit and my head throat fell through the skin, so I shat myself in embarrassment. Spelled A M B A R R A S M E N T. Embarrassment. Well, you've done it now. It's over and done with. I think I think hitting your head in the drum might knock out a few brain cells. Not gonna lie. Um, that's not how you spell embarrassment. I embarrassment. Why am I saying embarrassment? Hi Ryan, your videos are sick. I used to wear Crocs all my life until last year. I'm not really going to give you fashion advice because, I mean... Crocs, no. Definitely out. Would you, yeah. Even I wouldn't wear Crocs. And I'm an old Croc. Oh god. Not that old. You're only, what, 60? 70? Once my mum walked into my room whilst I had Babe Station channel on my TV. Did you write this in yourself? No, <laughs> no, that's never happened. That hasn't ever happened, all right? No, the dog's coming in now. Look, Patchy's here to save me. I, I That's never happened, honestly. I don't like you. Just kidding. I love you, bro. I confess that I sneaked into an abandoned building with my mates and the alarm went off. It was so funny and scary. That, that's, that's also quite dangerous. I wouldn't recommend doing that. You know, there used to be an abandoned building near me. Story time. There used to be an abandoned building near me, near um, near the football club. Shut up. Patch. Patch, stop it. Right, All right. I want to get All right here we go. I can't do it whilst he's barking. He's just interrupting them. All right. I have an it's, ha it's Haber flavoured lollipop. Can't imagine what that tastes like, to be honest. All right, here we go. I once shat myself standing on a stage bending over in a sheep costume in primary school. I once kicked a football and it broke my teacher's nose, but she never found out it was me. Oh, oh my. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh no. Flipping heck. That, to me, sounds... Um, I, I think I get... Oh gosh. Hello Ryan, my confession is that I once broke a part of the engine in my mum's car. I blamed it on my brother until this day my mum thinks it was my brother. P.S. Love the videos. Sounds something like, that literally sounds like something I'd do. Yeah. Like, definitely. that's literally me. But I've never broke anything in your car. No, you haven't broken my car. But Lewis has. Unless that was me. What? And I told you it was Lewis. You used to dive in the sea so my car if any opportunity you could get to drive it. <laughs> I once drove a limo, by the way, when yeah. I was two years old. And nearly run everybody over in the wedding party. It's not a joke. I literally, I, I got in the limo and started put my foot down and nearly ran people over. I'd have been, what, what, would I still be in prison if I'd have run people over, do you reckon? Sometimes I enjoy covering myself in garlic puree and pretending I'm being eaten by French people, rolling down the stairs to get that feeling of making my way down the esophagus and through the digestive system. Mm. That's relatable. Leave a comment down below if any of you have done that. Last one. But don't worry, because I'm going to do a part two of this video if you guys want to see it. And I might record it with another family member. So let me know down below if you want to see that. And also, I'll leave a link to the Twitter page down below if you guys... I said that really weird. I'll leave a link to the Twitter page. Hey, I'll leave a link to the Twitter page in the description. I'll leave a link to the Twitter page in the description where you guys can leave your confession. So the last one is, I once kicked my sister so hard in the face that she got knocked out and still doesn't know to this day. Well, I wouldn't tell her then. How would how would she not know? Surely she'd be like, oh, this is a boot flying to my head. Bang. Well, maybe she had a blackout can't remember when she came round. God, that, that sounds horrific. Mm. Right, so that's it for the video, guys. If you guys did enjoy it, leave a like down below. If we can smash like, what what, what should we go for, Mum? Like 500 likes? Mm, 550. 550 likes. That'd be absolutely sick. Thank you guys for the support. I'm one for this guy. If you guys did enjoy, leave a like down below. Subscribe if you guys aren't around here. Thank you so much for the support recently. I really appreciate it. Let me know if you want a part two in the description. No, in the comment section. And I'll see you later.